Owen, no doubt a, a disappointing night for you and the players. Can you give us your thoughts, please? Another frustrating night for us. I thought we uh, we played very well, created a lot of chances again. Don't take a chance, and then that that bad bad luck that we've been getting over the last couple of games has come back again. Where a player goes across the ball and he shanks into the far corner, like you know, it's hard to take because if we weren't playing well, I'd say yeah, we deserve to lose games. But we've played well in the, in the last two home games and haven't got any points from it. Yeah, the, the first half was a fairly commanding display, but the the early second half goal for Cove did seem to change the momentum. Was was it? Did the players have a trouble bouncing back from that? No, I think what happens is that you create so many chances in a game and it doesn't go for you, and then all of a sudden you have a goal down. It gives Cove something to hold on to. Do we end up pushing their, their wing backs back? So they had a five at the back, and it, you know air players get frustrated knowing that they're creating chances and they're not taking them. And so there's a bit of I suppose. I, I, it's it's hard to explain though when you're playing and I said certain things ain't going for you, it gets a bit frustrating already. So I think that creeped into the game, but we kept trying to get on it, we kept trying to pass it. I said we were snatching down our chances. You know, Asher had a great chance come to the end and he hits her over the bar and James English then gets frustrated and gets sent off. So it's that's the li that's the disappointing part of it. But in terms of how we play, we kept trying to prod and we kept trying to get on the ball and pass it. Yeah, the red card for James will add to your problems, but um, the question of scoring goals will no doubt be talked about. How concerned are you with the, the league amount of goals, especially in the last four games? Yeah, look, it's it's difficult. It's it's hard, you know. If you look at our centre forwards, we only have we've Lindsay who's out injured, you know, but he came back there a couple of weeks ago. He's only a week probably away from playing again. And you've James English, you know, we don't have the money to get the top centre forwards in the league. If you look at Waterford, they have McDade and they have O'Sullivan, you know, paying good money for them. You look at Longford, they have O'Sullivan and they have Curden, paying good money for them. So th that's the hard part of football is putting the ball in the net. You know, we are creating chances and I will turn for James. He's not a bad centre forward. He scored a lot of goals last year. He's just having one of those uh, seasons at the moment. And he's he's up there on his own because, as I say, Lines has been out for most of the season. He's come back, he's done well, but then he's out again. So uh, it's frustrating because we don't have anyone else that can... You know, do what James English does and works hard up front and, and score goals. So, but that comes down to you know budget and things like that, and it's just unfortunate. But look, we keep working, we keep doing what we're doing, and hopefully, you know, we might look at the 19s to see if there's anyone scoring goals there that we can bring through. That's three defeats in a row now against good, very good opposition, has to be said. But is promotion, do you think, still possible? Of course it is. I mean, the the one thing about the A team league is that you win two or three games, you're back up. You know, um. Yeah, at the moment we're having a bit of a, a lull, like you know. But I said if we're playing bad, then it could be heads down, and you know we we could be saying, look, we've no chance. But we're playing good football, we're creating chances, as I said, and we just need to turn the you know turn them chances into goals. And I think if that happens, and we get a little run together, a little bit of momentum, we can push on. A few days off now before the next game against Waterford. Will the changes, uh, sorry, will the sending off for James tonight give you a chance to perhaps re refresh your, your thinking about how things are going forward or any other changes on the team? Well, we, we don't have many options, you know, with, with James E out and with, uh, with Lonesy, as I said, you know, with a hamstring strain, it's, we don't have many options to, to throw up there. So we, we can't think about too much. As I said, we're playing well, so there's no point in thinking about, I know we're not getting the results, but... If we weren't playing well, then you, you might change things. But we're playing good football, we're, we're getting on the ball, we're passing it, we're getting crosses in the box. So we just have to keep doing that and believe that it'll turn for us. And you know, and as I said, there'll be times where we don't play as well and we'll win a game. Like So, you know, as long as we as we keep doing the right things, then, you know, I'll be happy with that. To finish, uh, back four has looked very, very solid, has to be said. Midfield seems to be solid also. Dave O'Leary coming in has played well. Mark Hughes has looked, looked excellent. That's certainly a positive for you. Yeah, this was said. Like you know, we we've good ball players, and um, we're looking for Mark to get on the ball. And Dave O'Leary and they do that in abundance. Ada was very good. Dale's very good. You know, they get on the ball and pass it. And, you know, as I said, if you think of the goal tonight, it's a cross that goes into the far corner, and, and those are the little things that are going against us at the moment. And um, you know, we're hoping that maybe we'll shank a cross and it goes in, and, and it might turn for us. But no, look, we're not going to get. Right. We are frustrated about results, but we're not frustrated at how we're playing. And if we keep getting on the ball and keep doing the right things. They're not torn for us, and you know you've seen the fans there tonight. They appreciate that the players were, were giving her everything again tonight. Uh, they threw everything into the game. They played for the jersey. You know they're not as I keep saying they're not playing for big money. We don't have it, so they're playing for the jersey and they're trying to express themselves, which the fans I think appreciate. Oh, thanks for your time. Thank you.